Good morning, teetotalers. Welcome to another episode of Quarantine Time with Celeste. I'm your host, Celeste Barbier, and today is Quarantine Time, episode number 113 for July 14th in the year 2020. Yes, folks, it is still 2020. So today I am drinking a little iced tea. It's still hot out, so I thought I'd have a nice cup of iced tea. This is a new wig. Somebody sent me. I've never been a brunette before and I also usually have bangs so this is a little different look I have to get used to. <laughs> anyway so back to tea. It is watermelon zinger, watermelon lime zinger day. So I got a little, little zinger, zinger digger. It's with hibiscus and rose hips and orange peel and watermelon and lime flavors and blackberry leaves. So that is that. Oh fruity and very good. Very good tea. I like it. Perfect for summer. I made a whole pitcher of this. I actually made it as sun tea. So yesterday uh, during tea time, I made this tea, put it in here and uh, then left it out in the sunshine to steep. And so that is my sun tea. It still has the bags in it because I'm, I'm the kind of person that never takes my tea bags out of the cup. I'm just, why not? I don't care if it's flavor is super intense. Uh, so it is Gustav Klimt's birthday. He was born in 1862 and funny that my wife's art is usually compared. He's the first person people usually compare her art to and they're both cancers, of course. So, um, he was born today, July 14th, 1862. And he said, although even when I'm being idle, I have plenty of food for thought, both early and late thoughts, both about and not about art. Well, don't we all <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing really to say about that quote. Um, it's Jerry Rubin's birthday. He was uh, an activist back in the 60s, very anti-war, um, just a, a big activist at the time, born in 1938. He said, by the end, I think he means by the end of um, vet the Vietnam War, by the end, everybody had a label, pig, liberal, radical, revolutionary. If you had everything but a gun, you were a radical, but not a revolutionary. I think I'm a radical. Uh, anyway, so then it's also Esther Dyson's birthday. She's a businesswoman, a philanthropist, an activist in her own way. Um, and she, uh, I think she's an American living in Sweden, but I'm not really sure if it's the other way around, a Sweden, a Swede living in America, something like that. She said, as long as government can come and shoot you, you have, you can't jump on the internet to freedom. Yikes. I just thought it was a good quote to add in there. And it is Jane Lynch's birthday. She's an actress. She's a lesbian like yours truly. Born in 1960, she said, the world, universe, God, whatever you call it, has so much more in store if you just sit back and relax and do what's right in front of you. I happen to agree with this. I think you should have a good little plan of at least know your skills and kind of what makes you happy and what would be uh, something that would be... Um, you would enjoy, I guess. And, but then I, I'm very much Taoist in that you just have to be, you just have to exist in your truth of knowing who you are and what you do and what your talents and skills are. And then, um, interruption came from my parrot Wazo who is apparently very pissed off at the moment so uh yeah I'm wrapping it up Wazo just hold your horses man <laughs> I'm sorry you guys uh so it's also National Grand Marnier Day National Tape Measure Day National Nude Day and it did cross my mind for a moment that I should have done this in the nude but I'm like eh nah maybe if I had a real hot bod I might have probably done that but um no eh I'm not a I'm not that kind of girl. I don't, I really don't do that. I don't go for the nude thing very much. I know there, I know a lot of nudists though. I think it's great. If you are a nudist and you're very comfortable in your own skin, that's amazing. And I'm super excited and happy for you, but that is just not me. And it never has been. Um, I'll, and I, and then it's also national Mac and cheese day. So you go ahead and eat macaroni and cheese and then in the nude, if you feel like taking your measurements, grab, whip out that tape measure and 
take some measurements. Maybe you don't want to do that. Uh, and then have this little Grand Marnier. In fact, Grand Marnier would probably not be bad with my watermelon tea today. Um, but anyway, so you guys have a fabulous day. I'm sorry for the interruption today from the parrot. Uh, maybe he wants to be in an episode. I should probably, I haven't included him in an episode in a long time. So maybe on a future episode, we'll bring Wazo back maybe tomorrow. All right, you guys. So have a fabulous rest of your day and thank you for watching Quarantine Time with Celeste.